Hi guys and welcome to your November 2019. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you from the time frame of the 15th through the 30th, the beautiful sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sag, Sag, Sag. Oh my goodness. What this person isn't telling you. Mm, mm, mm. Well, first of all, they want a reconciliation. Um... They definitely want a reconciliation. Um, everything, guys, that you need to know about the cards that I'm using um, is linked in the description box below. I will be calling emphasis to my main oracle clarification cards, which are the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. And what's crowning the, your energy is the card called Keys on the Ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, strain, stringing along, or one night stand. You're not interested in this person anymore, Sagittarius, and this person definitely wants you. They feel like um, you strung them along, um, that you have many options. As a result of that, um, they're in their feelings right now in this Queen of Cups, maybe some vindictive behavior, um, holding back some things. Um, they're juggling um, two pinnacles right now, so... Typically, this has a lot to do with more than one thing or they feel like, well, more than one thing that has a financial pull upon you, but this is what they're not telling you. So they either have this or this is what they think you're doing too much. Um, some type of betrayal here that they're feeling and they feel stabbed in the back. Um, this is being left out in the cold. They feel like Sagittarius, you abandoned them. Okay. Especially with some type of financial obligation here. Um, Again, many options that goes back to keys on the ring. They feel like you betray them and left them out in the cold, but you have options. Um, you have some place to go. Um, this pinnacle could represent a, a property that you guys share, some place where you live together. Um, they feel like you left them holding the bag um, and they're angry about that. They really do feel stabbed in the back, but we'll get into that. And right now, things between you guys are very tense. Um, right now, again, this is a very, I have choices type of energy. We have two different sevens. Um, there is a lot of tension between you guys. There is a lot of aggression and, um, tension with that seven of wands, uh, defensiveness because of the options that, um, you may have. Um, I'm feeling like they're feeling like you are moving those, though, moving yourself around Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck. We do have, again, they feel stabbed in the back. Definitely. Um, obviously. And then we got the stab in the back heart, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, shock. Yes. So there's something that was done. Maybe you walked away from this, um, and left them holding the bag and some type of financial obligation. That is how they're feeling. Um, they have definitely been talking to their friends about things. Um, there is a child here, a message of, um, or this is a obstacle, um, or a child. I do see playfulness. I feel like there's a child involved. I don't know whether you have a bonus child. I'm sorry, guys. Let me do this. Whether you have a bonus child, Sagittarius, you guys have a child together, this is a message. So I feel like maybe it started out with a message with a message of, I don't think we should do this anymore. Um, again, you separated from this with the stab in the back card. Um, and this was, this is at the bottom of the deck and this is what you said. They are having a hard time moving away from this energy. Um, now they're putting up boundaries with this queen of swords. They feel like they want the truth out of the situation. Um, yes. So sorry about that. In addition to that, maybe when you guys are around one another, they're trying to play with you again, um, Sagittarius, and you're trying to keep the boundaries up between you guys, but they're trying to recapture the romance of what first led you guys together. They still definitely have romantic feelings for you. Um, your feelings are real and worth exploring. They want a real shot at reconciliation. Um, and they really want you guys to really start out and, and revealing yourself in your most intimate selves, innermost selves to one another there. Um, but you're not doing that. A peek at the past is that maybe you felt sorry for this person in some capacity. I feel like the person was lovable and they, you know, 
The person was lovable. There were things about this person that you obviously liked, Sag. But you reconciled with this person when you walked away from them the first time. And you reconcile, um, as indicated from our peak in the past, um, you know, and when you walked away the first time, you should have left them where they were, but you came back within the last, uh, you know, six to nine months after, uh, after you left the first time and they ended up taking that as you falling in love. Maybe you felt bad. Maybe there was, I see a manipulation type of energy here, but anyway, you know that you did not want a relationship with the person. So I feel like you kind of went into it. They feel like that and now they feel betrayed. There was a reconciliation and you instantly felt like that's not what you wanted. You kind of felt more sorry for the person, Sagittarius, than you did loving them for real. So you kind of feel like you were kind of coerced into a, uh, into a um, reconciliation. And if you don't feel like that, they definitely feel that that's what happened. So as a result of that, of course, they feel stabbed in the back. And, um, you know, they're frustrated. This is not enough. They feel like you're not giving them enough of your attention. Um, you're possibly trying to leave again, or that was a peak at the past. And maybe you guys have separated again. Um, they're trying to get things back on the good foot with you. And, you know, they're, they're saying that they're frustrated. Um, now they're trying to, you know, they're jealous of maybe what's going on in these options. I do feel like you broke up with them. Um, and finally, um, you know, it's all about time. You're telling them now is not the right time. Possibly the clock is ticking. They definitely feel, um, a little misled and feeling like you should, um, they feel like you owe them something. Okay. That's what I'm feeling here. Absolutely. Yes. You are showing up in your own reading here. Um, you have tried to be very calm and patient about this situation, they're trying to do it too. They really do feel like this is a cycle and maybe they can win you back somehow with that clock. I don't really think they can. You, They can win you back here, honestly. Um, I don't know. There's a financial element here. Um, like I said, I'm going to pull a, um, a card for you as well here because um, I feel uh, like... This person may do something crazy. Yes, the snake. Yep, competition, enemy. There's someone that you're dealing with that this person is flat out jealous of. They're plotting. I knew it. I knew it. Didn't I say that? I was like, I don't trust. This, this energy feels very woman scorned. And you can't just ignore this, Sagittarius. Um, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. This is the energy that this person is operating out of. And this is possibly the reason why you were trying to get away from them. Um, I kind of feel like it's that um, energy of um, what I just read for um, Gemini's and how they need to watch their back. Because on the top of the deck is girl talk. So this is saying that they're trying to move on and have a good time. But this is to me, when I put them two together, honestly... The bottom and the top, it's a contradicting type of energy because on one hand, I'm trying to move on and pretend, but you can't move on and pretend if this is how you're feeling. So I do feel like this person feels that you left them holding the bag and that snake is possibly plotting with the, these friends, with the girl talk, trying to mess something up, watch your cars. Watch, just watch your, yourself because this is definitely competition. The enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder. Absolutely. Um, I told you I didn't trust it and I don't trust this energy. There's a financial element here. Um, again, they really wanted to take this relationship to another level and you put the kibosh on this. And you know, whatever it is that you're telling them, you no longer want this relationship. You know, like I said, it started out, you, you possibly got, you know, uh, went your separate ways and then the reconciliations came and ever since you reconciled, you've been feeling some kind of way about that and deciding, oh, two dropped out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Yeah, I don't like these two cards at all. The first one was failure. So you realize that possibly you made a mistake. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. You have got to find a way to rectify your mistakes. You pulled this person back into your life and you did not want, you really didn't want what they had to offer and now they're plotting. And then fear, here we go. That's the next card. So again, I'm afraid for some of this energy that this person is in. I feel it. Um, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in an energy of love. So um, I had an, a reading for you guys not too long ago. Did not in October where I told you something similar about how you need to protect. Yes. Um, with the last Oracle deck, um, uh, the Oracle of visions, a card, it was protection. This is what I'm feeling again. Um, but this is a different Oracle deck and I'm getting the same type of energy. Somebody like I was telling you to protect your kids, protect your assets. I remember now, if you guys want to know what that is, I don't have it in front of me, but it was, you got the protection card. <sighs> you Sagittarius, you got protection and you got security. I think I, I think that's what it was. And they basically said the same thing to watch the kids, watch your possessions, you know, and this is um, further clarifying that energy that you definitely need to watch that. I'm going to keep this out um, because this snake feels like she has been stabbed in the back. And that snake alone, that card is definitely um, enough because that is enemy. Look over your shoulder. So, you know, this person feels left out in the cold. They're very much so holding back right now uh, because they feel like they don't have a choice with this um, type of energy. They're defensive. You guys are arguing. Um, they feel like you have options, which you probably do. They're not accepting this breakup. Um, I saw stalker somewhere. Um, I don't want to say that. Here we go. Many options decide they feel like you strung them along. They feel like you had many keys on the ring and you were their only option, Sagittarius, and you strung them along. So I'm afraid about this snake, so I'm going to leave this up. Remember, that card was fear. That card was also failure. If you made a mistake, it's time to rectify those mistakes because I don't know what this person is capable of. I don't know whether this resonates, but this is what I'm seeing here. So again, they really want to get back to all of those romantic feelings and get to know you and everything. When you come around, they may test your resolve and, you know, come at you in um, crazy ways, you know, maybe try to show you affection or kiss you, make basically acting like a whole um, a fatal attraction. Maybe that's what I should call this because they are turning out this girl with the snake is basically the fatal attraction. Please protect yourself against this fatal attraction. So I'm going to leave it right there because um, this financial aspect, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, you need to get away from this person. I don't have good, um, you know, maybe there is some apologies and some things that you did wrong, but I don't trust this energy. Um, this person is upset. So I don't really think that it should result to violence and anything like that. And that's why I'm going to stop. Um, so like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I am going to leave you with the snake and stabbed in the back so you can see what type of energy this person is. They really think they love you, by the way. Um, we got stabbed in the back as a double confirmation, stabbed in the back and murdered. This is what they're thinking. The good news is, is for this person. Um, when you advance that far deep into a depression and, and you're that upset, <clears throat> you can't go anywhere but to the, um, the ace of swords. So you will have a brand new beginning in truth. And hopefully if you, um, ascend to a, a higher level of vibration, you can get out of this. If Sagittarius doesn't want you then move around, it is not worth plotting. Okay. I'm sorry that you feel stabbed in the back. I know I shouldn't be apologizing for Sagittarians, but um, I don't feel, I feel like whatever you're about to do, Sag is not going to see this coming. So I hope that that prediction doesn't come true. So we're going to end it right there because I'm, I'm hearing all types of other stuff um, and I'm going to leave that alone. Um, so please be careful. 
Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything that you need to get in contact with me is below. If you need a personal reading right now, I have two, four slots next week for emergency and only four weekend readings remain for the whole month until I am um, leaving for, um, I am going to be breaking for holiday. So if you need to get in contact with me, please book now because once it's done, it's done. And then December is open. December is open for you. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe, guys. I will see you guys next month when we do it again. This is your last video of the month. If you need non-tarot readings, please go over to channel two. I will see you guys then. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye, Sag, and be careful.